Hello guys, Dr. Hasbullah here and in this video we're going to continue our discussion on lamina and turbulent boundary layer and we're going to continue to derive uh, some of the equations that's going to involve the wall shear stress in order to obtain the drag. Okay, so why is drag so important? Imagine that you are driving a car and then you need to refuel the car, right? And let's say that the price for the fuel is about 2 ringgit per liter. 60% of that fuel is going to be lost as heat. Alright, so fuel gets into the car and then fuel gets burned. 60% of that fuel is just lost through heat. And another 20% of that fuel is actually lost due to the aerodynamic drag. So 40 cents, 40 cents of the fuel that you put in a car is actually used to overcome the aerodynamic drag. Okay, so that drag is very important. All right, and in in the previous video we have derived uh, the equation to represent the velocity profile, and uh, I'm coming back to this uh, notes that we have. Uh, basically, we are using this equation as an approximation only because we don't know what the velocity profile really looks like. Right, uh, we can only know that from experiment, but this is actually quite a very good approximation. So uh, this equation, uh, we use the second order polynomial and this equation is where we use the third order polynomial. And when we find the value for A, B, C and D, we got this equation and also this equation. We got the equation on the left here when we use the second order polynomial or we call it quadratic equation and we get this equation by using third order polynomial or we call it cubic equation. Now, if you are not familiar with this equation yet, okay, please, please go back to part two of this video because it is essential that you understand this first before you can move on to what we are going to do in this video. Okay, if you cannot do this yet, then it's going to be very difficult for you to catch up about our discussion today. Right, and remember our objective here is to find the drag on a flat plate. Okay, that's why we went into trouble to derive this equation to get the velocity profile. Okay, now drag is related to wall shear stress. And we've learned before that wall shear stress is simply tau equal to mu du dy at y equal to zero. And that is the wall shear stress. But in order to relate, in order to find this wall shear stress using the equation of boundary layer that we just built, we're going to need to use something that is called the von Karman momentum integral. Okay, so von Karman momentum integral tells us that tau at wall is equal to rho u infinity square d theta over dx. Okay, and theta is what we call momentum thickness. Right, and theta is governed by the equation that looks something like this. Theta equal to 1 over u infinity square integration from 0 to del Okay, remember that del is the boundary layer thickness, meaning that you will integrate this equation from the surface of the flat plate to the boundary layer thickness. Alright, and that is 1 over u infinity square integration from 0 to del u, u infinity minus u, dy. Then there is one more parameter that you need to know that is called the displacement thickness and displacement thickness is represented by del d okay and del d is equal to 1 over u infinity integration from 0 to del u infinity minus u dy okay so three new terms for you in this video that is the 
von Kármán momentum integral, momentum thickness, and also displacement thickness. Okay, now let's see how are we going to use this von Kármán momentum integral in order to find the wall shear stress. And once we find the wall shear stress, we can find the drag. So tau naught is equal to rho u infinity square d theta over dx, right? And we're going to start with the theta, okay? That is because theta is equal to 1 over u infinity square, 0 over del u, u infinity minus u dy. Remember that we already have u over u infinity here. Okay, we already have this and we already have this. So now it will depend on us whether we want to use the u over u infinity that we get from quadratic or we want to use the u over u infinity that we get from the cubic equation. Okay, now can I write this equation as u over u infinity 1 minus u over u infinity can i do that and that is from 0 to del yes of course i can do that i'm just taking in the u infinity square into the integral okay now remember we already know what these terms are right so u over u infinity we know okay let's say that we are going to choose cubic equation okay and for cubic equation u over u infinity is okay so this is the cubic equation so 3y over 2 del minus y cube over 2 del cube Right, so what do we do with this now? We know that we have u over u infinity, and this equation here is going inside this equation in order to find the theta. Right, so theta now, let me write it bigger. So theta now is actually integration from 0 to del. This is 3y over 2 del minus y cube over 2 del cube times 1 minus 3y over 2 del plus y cube over 2 del cube dy okay now don't get scared when you see this kind of long equation what you need to do is just to carry on and do the multiplication and integrate the parameters. Okay, so what we have here now is integration from 0 to del. This is, uh, we're going to do it like this. So here and here first. Okay, this will be 3y over 2 del minus y cubed over 2 del cube minus 9y square over 4 del square plus 3y to the power of 4 divided by 4 del to the power of 6 so I think this is sorry I think I may have made a mistake here so let's do this one by one Okay, and this term is, let's do this, let's do purple, so we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, alright, so this is going to be plus 3y to the power of 4, divide by 4, del to the power of 4, now let's do red, we're going to do that and we're also going to do that right so this is going to be plus 
3 y to the power of 4 divided by 4 del to the power of 4 minus y to the power of 6 divided by 4 del to the power of 6 right and don't forget the dy here so next what do we do is we integrate this okay now it become 3 y square over 4 del minus y to the power of 4 over 8 del cube minus this will be 9 y cube to the power of 12 del square plus 3y to the power of 5 divided by 20 del to the power of 4 plus 3y to the power of 5 divided by 20 del to the power of 4 minus y to the power of 7 divided by 28 del to the power of 6 dy Okay, so sorry, no more dy, but now is from 0 to del. Okay, now we're getting close, right? So now let's carry on. Let's put del into y. So this is 3 del square over 4 del minus del to the power of 4 divided by 8 del cube minus 9 del to the power of 4 divided by 12 del to the power of 2, sorry, 9 del to the power of 3 plus 3 del to the power of 5 divided by 20 del to the power of 4 plus 3 del to the power of 5 divided by 20 del to the power of 4 minus del to the power of 7 divided by 28 del to the power of 6 okay and if you replace y with 0 then everything is going to be 0 so this is it okay this is our theta okay so here if you notice you can cancel a lot of del 7 del 6 okay so you will end up with uh, only one term which is del right and you add up these fractions and you will end up with 0 0.139 del and that is your theta okay so now we have theta in the form of del right now remember our objective is not theta right our objective is tau so coming back to the von Karman momentum integral so tau is equal to rho u infinity square d theta over dx so i'm going to write this here again so tau equal to rho u infinity square d theta over dx right and we have theta there so rho u infinity square d over dx now this is 0 0.139 del isn't it okay so if i rearrange this that's going to be 0 0.139 rho u infinity square d del over dx now going back to what you already know tau is also equal to mu du over dy right at y equal to zero all right fortunately for us we know what is u in terms of y okay so uh, coming back to u over u infinity again and if you remember this is equal to 3y over 2 del minus y cube over 2 del cube all right and du over dy is going to be u infinity 3 over 2 del minus 3 over 2 y square over del cube right and at 
y equal to 0, all right, du dy, dy is going to be u infinity times 3 over 2 del. Okay, so when we take this again and we plug in what we have here, you will end up with tau also equal to mu u infinity 3 over 2 del. Okay, and this is also equal to this, alright? So, these two are basically the same equation. They have, they share the same value. So, what do we do here is just we equate these two things and see what happens, right? And then this becomes 0 0.139 rho u infinity square d del over dx is now equal to u infinity and mu 3 over 2 del. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take del to the left. Okay, any terms that has del, I'm going to take it to the left. Alright, so you will end up with del d del equal to this is going to be 3 over 2 divide by 1 over 0 0.139 divide by 1 over rho u infinity square and this is going to be u infinity mu dx Okay, so everything that's not del, I'm going to move it to the right. Okay. And I'm going to move this a little bit further down. Okay, let's not move this one. Right. And this is quite simple. On the left, you have del d del. And this is going to be 10.8, okay? And u infinity, you can cancel this out. And then mu over nu, right? Mu, sorry, mu over rho is actually equal to nu. So this is going to be nu over u infinity dx. Okay guys, I think it's getting a bit long, so we're gonna stop here first. So try to do this again and again, derive it by yourself and try to do it without looking at this video and see if you can do it, okay? Then you can move on. Alright, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.